think the biggest challenge for professionals in Orbost would be just the aw an awareness of autism and just getting the extra knowledge to understand the best ways to ensure that children who are on the spectrum reach their full potential. I didn't quite know what to expect. I just knew that I desperately needed information to help my sons. It gave me the foundations of what autism was. It helped me learn strategies to manage the children. It helped me understand how imperative it is for that relationship between the school and myself and how that needed to be positive. I do think it's really important to engage as many people as possible in discussions about a certain child or a certain student, so including medical professionals, allied health, their families, sometimes even extended family is appropriate, um, particularly grandparents or other caregivers who are quite involved in the child's life as well as obviously school staff if they're of school age. When um, Positive Partnerships came to Orbost and there was the opportunity for the school to participate in a, um, in a community session, as a principal I really supported the idea of teachers attending, our education support staff attending and I felt it was important for me to attend as well because I think in order to really know and understand more about autistic children and to support their development we really needed to form a partnership the main value I got out of it was that to make the community more aware of autism within our own community and to ensure that the local schools, both primary and secondary schools, had a key role in working with families to ensure that the children could be included in, um, in the school environments. One of the other things that we wanted to improve on in our school was catering for our autistic kids outside the classroom. We had lots of visuals and lots of supports for the kids uh, inside the classroom and spaces for them to go if they need downtime. But we realised through our discussion that we sort of don't have those supports outside, outside. in the playground. We've gone on to having more signage and visuals around the, the school and utilising areas that we already had and. Um, yeah. Like the Chooks, for example, that's something so unique. We're a country school, we like to have animals and all sorts yeah. of things here. And the children on the spectrum seem to find things like that um, as a way to get away from what they're having issues with or getting out of a meltdown. I thought it was particularly important that we formed that positive partnership, that we had maybe a greater awareness of the development of the child as a whole and particularly around their social awareness, their social understanding. The action plan that had come about through the All Boss workshop that Jackie Archer made sure was facilitated after the workshop had finished enabled families to connect. I needed families that were in a rural area to know about the resource room and to know that they could access this and I wanted to know what they needed. Gaining that insight and having a few ideas of what actually does affect the families at home and hearing it from themselves really opened my eyes and I think it's changed the questions that I ask. Bulbus Regional Health has also noticed the need for um, a support group for fathers and somebody has just recently been employed who is doing research into what fathers in the community want. We feel the success of the workshop in this area can be greatly attributed to our focus on strengthening the, the community support and to look at what the initial community assets and supports were that are available to families and to look at strengthening those according to what was relevant and important to the families. And I will never ever forget the people that made an effort to understand me and my differences and that it enabled me to be who I am today.